Once you or someone decides you need radiation, you'll call for an appointment. Usually this will take one to two days. If it's an emergency, we can see you the same day. At the initial consultation, you'll meet first with a nurse and then a radiation oncologist. We'll review your disease status, go over the treatment plan with you. We usually work to develop this together. Radiation therapy can start immediately if it's an emergency, but usually it takes one to three days after the consultation before we're able to start. Sometimes for more complex treatments, it may take even longer. The final plan takes into account your disease status, but also your overall health, and then we try to work out what your individual philosophy is toward disease. We want to balance your concerns regarding control of disease against your concern regarding any side effects from the radiotherapy. In each room, we have anatomy text and then monitors. For a lot of patients, we're able to pull up the diagnostic studies and actually look at them. I will teach you how to read CT scans if that's appropriate, so you can actually see what your disease looks like. Texas Oncology uses the very latest technology of CT simulation versus older techniques where you'd have to lay in a table completely immobilized for one to two hours. This is a very rapid process. It takes only 10 to 15 minutes. CT simulation basically involves obtaining CT scans. Now these are individual slices as you pass through this tunnel. Think slices of a loaf of bread. These slices are obtained with you in this treatment position. Then you leave. The individual slices are then sent to me on another computer and will reassemble these to produce a virtual patient. Again, think restacking the bread slices to produce the original loaf. We can then determine which direction the radiation will enter the body. Once we have a particular direction determined, we'll then start shaping the radiation from that area. From each direction, we want to target the tumor while sparing the normal structures as much as possible. If we can't achieve a satisfactory arrangement, if either the side effect risk is too high or the tumor control is too low, if we're missing tumor, for example, we can use a much more sophisticated technique called intensity modulated radiotherapy. In this case, we contour all the structures, the tumor, the normal structures, and then we tell the computer, figure out the best treatment. Once we've determined the beam angles and the shape of the beam from each direction, a prescription is written, which is how much radiation we want to give to a particular area. This data is then sent to a dosimetrist. The dosimetrist will take the beam information and the prescription, as well as information about the treatment machine itself, and produce an actual plan which shows us how much radiation is being deposited in each of the structures. This is a very precise process, and the radiation oncologist will review this plan make arrangements to give more radiation here, less radiation here, shape this beam a little bit more until we have a final optimized treatment plan. Texas Oncology Radiation Therapy is a paperless environment. All of our communications are electronic. This reduces the chance for error at any particular stage along this process. Once we've agreed on a plan in dosimetry, the machine parameters are then sent to the treatment machine for treatment delivery. At each treatment, you're precisely aligned with lasers. Prior to the first treatment and often during the individual treatments, we will obtain x-rays each day to ensure very precise alignment. These are reviewed by the radiation oncologist before each treatment is delivered. Although you're in the room by yourself, there will be two video monitors and two audio monitors on you, so you're never really alone. Once your daily treatment is completed, you're discharged to your home. Do you feel radiation therapy when it's being delivered? With rare exception, no. After you've been treated and before your treatment the next day, these targeting x-rays are reviewed and approved to confirm accuracy. Although these are x-rays, they're not diagnostic quality x-rays, so they won't really give us insight into the actual state of your disease. Side effects can occur during radiation therapy, and often do. It'll depend on the area we're treating, whether you're getting simultaneous chemotherapy, how much radiation we're administering per day, what the total dose is, and just generally what your performance status is. I myself have been writing a manual on managing side effects since 1994, and I'm proud to say it's currently in its ninth edition. I will see you at least once a week to answer any questions and try to keep you on track, and the nurse will go over the potential side effects, answer questions, tell you what we will do to try to keep them from happening, and what we do if they do occur. Our goal is to get you through this as comfortably as possible. Once treatments are completed, you're usually seen at three weeks in a routine follow-up. If you're having some more problems at the end of radiation therapy, I'll see you sooner or more often. 
depending upon the disease and how many other physicians you're seeing, this may be the last time I see you, or you may continue follow-up at the radiation center. If our goal is the relief of pain or other symptoms, you usually start to see some benefit by the end of radiotherapy or up to three weeks. Once benefit starts developing, you'll see this continue for anywhere from four to six weeks. If our goal is cure, you'll be followed as you hopefully achieve complete remission, which means no clinical evidence of disease, and then you'll continue to be followed. Different cancers require that you be in complete remission for different lengths of time before we can use that magic word, cure. We're really proud of our cancer center. It's a combination of technology, facility design, and staff. It produces a very caring and really a curative environment. At Texas Oncology, we recognize that your first chance for cure is the best chance for cure. We want to give you the best chance there is.